The film begins in 1992, when a severe hurricane called Andrew struck Gulfport, Alabama. Two brothers, Will and Breeze Rutledge, were trying to escape with their father. Their truck got stuck due to a falling tree, and they had to take shelter in a nearby house. A water tank was blown by the wind and killed their father. In 2018, another severe hurricane named Tammy was heading towards Gulfport. Casey Corbin, a Federal Reserve Treasury agent, was asked by her colleague Randy Moreno to get Breeze, who is now a maintenance worker and whose brother Will was a meteorologist, to fix a generator at a money storage facility. While she was away, some rogue Treasury agents led by Connor Perkins, broke into the facility and took Moreno hostage. They planned to steal $600 million, Perkins got computer hackers Sasha and Frears to try to open the vault. When they couldn't, Perkins thought Corbin might have changed the code, so he sent his men to find her. While Sasha and Frears tried to break the code using the town's transmission tower. On the way back to the facility, Corbin and Breeze ran into the mercenaries. Corbin fought them and will help her escape in his storm research vehicle, but Breeze was captured and forced to fix the generator. Will was worried when he found out his brother was in danger. He and Corbin went to meet Sheriff Jimmy Dixon at his station. But Dixon turned out to be working with Perkins and tried to capture them. Corbin shot Dixon and they escaped. When Dixon and a deputy chased them, Will used his vehicle to knock their car over. Will and Corbin realized the tower was being used to break the vault's code and managed to knock it over just before the code was broken. Perkins' men saw them and started shooting at them but they escaped. Dixon confronted Perkins about a failed robbery during the last hurricane and wanted all the money for himself, but Perkins shot him and told Dixon's men to find Corbin. While robbing the mall, Corbin contacts Perkins and negotiates the release of Moreno and Breeze, in exchange for her opening the vault and retrieving the money. She tells Perkins to meet them at the Gulfport Mall for the exchange. Meanwhile, Will and Corbin plan to shoot the mall's glass roof which would cause the mercenaries to be pulled out by the storm. After speaking with Breeze, who has arrived with the mercenaries, Corbin shoots the roof, and the mercenaries are sucked out into the storm. Corbin, Will, and Breeze manage to hold on. After the storm surge, Corbin surrenders herself while Breeze saves Will. Back at the treasury facility, Perkins reneges on his deal to release Moreno and kills him out of revenge for the deaths of Jackie and Xander. As the storm's eye passes, Perkins and his men take the money, loading it into three truck trailers along with Corbin. Will and Breeze pursue them. With the storm's eye wall closing in, Will and Breeze commandeer a truck. After a fight with Perkins, the eye wall pulls the money and then the truck itself into the storm. Perkins is killed when his own detached trailer crushes him. When Breeze's truck engine fails and catches fire, Will and Corbin move him to their truck. However, when they try to save Sasha and Frears, they are pulled into the storm. William, Breeze, and Corbin manage to outrun the storm and drive off into the sunshine, having saved $200 million. And here the movie ends. Thanks for watching.